This is Jorge. He's a certified nursing assistant, CNA for short, at renowned hospital in downtown Reno. Working as a CNA is very hands-on and interactive with the patients. The duties that I do as a nurse assistant would depend on the patient, the type of day, but generally, typically, I would work with surgical patients coming out of PACU and getting them ready because they, some of them would come from the ICU and a lot of the times I would just get their drains cleaned up and get them ready when they're post-surgical. Aside from being a CNA, Jorge's nightlife outside of work is one that will make you take a second glance. What got me into performing would be seeing several local queens and thinking, I can do better, I can try better. Jorge performs in drag two to three times a month and practices as often as possible outside of work. Being something hard to accept, it has been given many different names over time, such as lady boys, for example. However, Jorge helped to clarify that drag is the most appropriate term. Drag just categorizes the whole thing as um, an art, as a form of entertainment. Being an entertainer or someone that just likes to show people how one expresses themselves within their costume and their makeup and all that other stuff. Entertaining and performing has become a passion of Jorge's. However, not everyone in his life took it so lightly at first. First and foremost, my parents thought of it as me wanting to be a girl. They thought I wanted to transition into being transgender, wanted to be a girl, but it's a very hard conflict when it comes into that community because some people mix drag with trans and it's like, that's not, they're both different things. I was trying to explain to my mom that I was doing it because I like, I like to entertain. I like to transform to somebody else and it's basically like Halloween for me all the time. I get to dress up and be something else and be that ego that I wanted to have. To transform oneself into drag, it takes a lot of time and effort and it's not as easy as it may seem. A basic rundown how I prepare myself would be, I mean, generally if in drag, it's not, it's not always to be a woman. Sometimes people to dress up to be something that's more of an alien. Sometimes it's, it's always different, but for me, it's more of to be a very feminine character. Even the process of doing makeup takes time. You first have to shave, then there's the makeup. Jorge takes about 30 minutes to do his makeup alone. And that's not how it started. He used to take about two hours. Practice makes perfect. I'm still trying to find my own look. I mean, to be a drag queen, everybody has their own personalized looks. It's what makes them them. The last thing I want to do is be as the rest of the local queens where they do the same thing, they do the same song, the same costume and makeup. It's just, I want to be one who it's constantly bringing something new. What I try to do to make myself different would be I make all my costumes. I mean, this whole piece that you see me wearing is something that I made myself. I took the time and effort to make. And other people, they just go to the mall, find something cute, and wear that to perform. One of his most recent creations is one he plans to wear to the upcoming Pride event, a beautiful sequenced pink leotard. Drag isn't something that you just put on a wig and costume and you call yourself a queen. Drag is hard. It's really hard. You know, it's not just about putting on a wig and just going on doing a cute little lip sync to a cute Ariana Grande song. It's about knowing whether you're bringing art and you're entertaining or you're just dressing up just to dress up. Drag is a lot of self-love that you have to learn. Jorge plans to bring Ariana to RuPaul's Drag Race for season 11. Find Jorge on Instagram at the Ariana Dolce to see where he goes next.